power tools have literally transformed the face of the Earth. And even the moon. Since their first documented use in ancient Egypt, power tools have supercharged the progress of humankind. From fast and furious to huge and tiny. What I've learned has left my head spinning. Whoa. So sit back. It's hot. And don't operate any heavy machinery. Because I'm about to make you into a power tool genius. That's just perfect. Hi, I'm Daniel Wilson, and I want to know everything. With a PhD in robotics, I tend to see the world a little differently. So I'm going everywhere, finding the hidden side of everyday things, revealing it all in the works. A tool is any device that gives you a mechanical advantage. Human beings have been using tools for over two and a half million years, and we're not alone. Otters, birds, and primates also use tools. But one thing separates us from animal kind, power. Unlike the rest of the animal kingdom, we've moved beyond muscle power to find other energy sources to drive our tools. That feels like nothing. We may not have superpowers, but we do have power tools. I grew up around my dad's body shop, so I'm pretty familiar with the basics. Drills, saws, sanders. Now, I'm finding out that new advances are taking power tools into realms we never even knew existed. But before we explore the tools, let's take a look at power itself. In its purest form. That's why I'm here in this Oregon quarry. These men are about to confront a colossal challenge. Before day's end, they have to clear a hunk of rock as long as a football field by turning it into small rubble. They tell me it's no big deal thanks to a powerful force that has already reshaped the face of our planet. Explosives. The thing to remember here is that the hard part isn't to blow up the rock, but to blow it into chunks that are just the right size. That's so it can be easily transported and crushed into construction material. Consequently, the blasters carefully space the detonation points, boring holes up to 60 feet deep and 11 feet apart. But the real key here is having enough power for the job. No, that's not cotton candy. It's emulsion, a cheaper, safer alternative to nitroglycerin-based explosives like dynamite. Dynamite was patented in 1867 by Alfred Nobel. That's right, the same guy behind the Nobel Peace Prize. Dynamite is up to 14 times more powerful than the gunpowder miners had used up until that point with slightly more explosive force than this pink goo. Emulsion only releases its fiery energy at extreme temperatures and pressure. So it must be ignited, not with a match and fuse, but with a blasting cap detonator. Is this explosive as yes, well? Yes, this is actually the most dangerous thing we work with on the shot. It's, okay. This is a high explosive. If this would happen to go off right now, we'd. It wouldn't be good. We'd all be dead. <laughs> all right, I think what he's trying to say is no. we'd all be but... dead. I'm just up here catching a few rays uh, before all that pink goo ignites and turns this whole area into a hellish nightmare scape of flaming rock and debris and shrapnel and instant death. It's nice. So where does all this explosive power come from? And what is power? Let's talk physics. Power is the rate at which energy is transmitted. The faster energy is released, the higher the power. In this case, the blasting cap triggers a reaction 
converting potential energy stored in the emulsion into an expanding ball of kinetic energy. The resulting high power blast obliterates the rock in milliseconds. So, in essence, explosives are raw power, unleashed. Transmit that power into any device that gives you a mechanical advantage, and you've got yourself a power tool. The first documented power tool was run by muscle. Around 300 BC, the Egyptians invented a lathe for carving wood. One person provided power by pulling on a leather strap wrapped around the wood. The other sat opposite, cutting the wood with a chisel. 2,000 years later, the 19th century industrial revolution, factories harness steam, gas, and electricity to give tools a lot more power. Since the 1960s, power tools have been reinvented again for use in the home.